Hi, I'm Marty Padgett. We're here at the Los Angeles Auto Show, and we're talking about crossovers. Now, in the past couple of years, we've had a brand new Honda CRV and a new Ford Escape, and it's time for the other big player in this segment to bring a new entry. It's the Toyota RAV4, and this time around, it's notable because it drops its six-cylinder option and it drops its third-row seat. We'll take a look around. Now, the RAV4 styling hasn't changed too much, but you'll notice some cues that have been adopted from other Toyota products. We think the front end looks a lot like the Venza, and if you look at it from the rear, we think there's a shoulder line that looks a lot like a Volvo. It's a little shorter in overall length than before, but the wheelbase is the same, so the RAV4 has about the same interior space as before. One feature that might be handy for some families, a power tailgate option. RAV4 comes in three different trim levels, and on the nicest ones, you'll even get features like two-tone interior treatments and a padded leather stitched trim across the dash. In the back, there's more knee room and more headroom, and the second row seats fold flat, but what we're missing is a third row seat, which you could find in the 2012 edition. Now for performance, this time the RAV4 doesn't have a six-cylinder option. It's four cylinders only, but it does have 176 horsepower and a six-speed automatic, an upgrade from some versions that had four-speed and five-speed automatics. All-wheel drive is an option, and it has electronic controls to help stability and also to help performance to better handling by sending some torque to the rear wheels when you're cornering. The RAV4 also has more safety and more infotainment features this time around, and availability should be early in 2013. We'll have more on a road test to come on the Car Connection. I'm Marty Padgett. Thanks for joining us.